in the last session we have discussed the linear search or sequential search on an unshorted array but here we are considering that the array is pre-shorted either ascending or descending so now what will happen and what are the updates uh, we should observe in our algorithm of linear search if the array is pre-shorted that means the array content is pre-shorted okay now see in our previous uh, uh, video we have discussed this particular algorithm where we have considered that until I reach, reach to the last location until I reach to the last location of this array I shall go on comparing if I exhaust then I shall come out or if I get the comparison successful then I shall come out so if i is equal to n then unsuccessful searching because i has got the value n that means the loop got exhausted then i shall put log is equal to minus 1 indicating unsuccessful searching because minus 1 is not a valid subscript in this particular array otherwise found at the location number i log is equal to i and log will be returned so that algorithm we discussed in our previous video so I shall request you all to please watch the previous video so that you can get the continuation of this one. Now here we have considered that the array content is pre-shorted that means they are shorted either in the ascending or descending order. Okay. Now here we have considered that array content is shorted in the ascending order. So let there be 5, 8, 10, 15, 18, 29, 35 and 50 how many such data? 8 number of data. And the array may have some other sizes but I am not bothering for that because my searching will get confined for first 8 data. So item I am going to search is 17. So at first according to the linear search I shall check 5 is equal to the 17 or not. And if this particular 5, if this particular 5 is lesser than item then I shall go for the next uh, location for the comparison. Okay. Now see 8 is lesser than uh, item and 8 is also not uh, equal to items then, then I shall go for the next 10 is lesser than item and also 10 is not equal to item I shall go for the next 15 is lesser than 17 and 15 is not equal to 17 then, then I shall go for the next 18 is lesser than 17 is false then I need not to search for the rest I need not to search for the rest of the data residing in this array so that is the update I shall have to bring in my linear search algorithm when it is getting carried out on a set of data which are pre-shorted. See, I am making this lock is equal to minus 1. Why lock is equal to minus 1? I am taking that unsuccessful searching has taken place. Okay. Now, for i is equal to 0, so I am starting from the very first location. If ai is less than equal to item, that means if ai, if ai is less than equal to item, then I should proceed and if lock is equal to is equal to minus 1 that means if I have not found this item uh, till now then I should proceed and i is less than n that means the value of i has not crossed the upper limit then i plus plus. If a i is equal to is equal to item because when a i is equal to item then also I am entering in this loop. So, if a i is equal to is equal to item then lock is equal to i. So, if the lock has not got initialized by any other value other than minus 1, that means that the searching is unsuccessful. But if the lock has got initialized with a value other than minus 1 and ranging in between 0 to n minus 1, that means I have got my data at that ith place. So, return lock, return lock. So, in this way, this particular linear search algorithm has been updated. So, similarly, here this a is the name of the array item is the item means the value to be searched and this lock is the output argument and n also the input argument which will denote the size of the uh, valid data number of valid data residing in the array. So, in this way this particular linear search can be updated for shorted array I think you are getting this logic. Thanks for watching this video.